it's not a weakness to open up to somebody it's actually a strength hello everyone and welcome back and in today's video we are going to talk about love and the power of listening we're targeting the men they're not very good listeners you know <laughs> we need more men to listen so we're just gonna have a little conversation no matter where you are in life it is not too late to listen you can start and you can start it right now and make some meaningful connection you see life th throws at us or throws at us <laughs> a lot of stress work stress relationship stress personal stress children stress in-law stress can i go on food stress all stress bill stress you name it life is going to be tr throwing that at us so oftentimes we think we have it all figured out I hope you're not one of those persons. <laughs> we think that I can do this on my own, but it's okay. It is okay to ask for help. People think that asking for help is a sign of weakness, but oh no, it is a sign of being strong, being able to be vulnerable to just express how you're feeling and go for that help. And I think especially men, they don't like to talk about how they feel. You know, as women, we will talk and talk and talk and talk. We are talkers. I think this morning we talk about similar topic, but we talk about men being fixers, fixers in the home. If you feel so, you can always check out that live stream that we did this morning. It wasn't very long, but you can actually listen Men are more fixers. Women, we will talk. We'll get 15 out of 10 for talk. <laughs> so, do you know that just listening to somebody, it actually helps not just the person you're listening to, but it actually helps you as an individual because you learn more about yourself just listening in. So, it doesn't matter who, who it is, it will just take some time to listen and be genuine about it. I always tell you, if you're not going to be genuine, don't bother. Be genuine about it and listen. And I believe that is how love grows. That is how love deepens. When you can take the time out to just listen to your spouse just to let them know i'm here offering that empathy you know i'm right here for you i'm just giving you a listening ear that's what you need you know we need a shoulder to just cry on man we want you to just listen so every day is an opportunity to make a difference every single day are you going to make a difference today what are you going to do about it remember one of the biggest thing that we need to do is to love ourselves first it's the greatest love of all you need to love you when you can love you first, and that is why people struggle to love because they don't love themselves. I know somebody who said to me, I don't love people. And it means you probably have a challenge loving yourself. A lot of people, God created us beautiful. Wherever you are, you are unique and there's nobody like you. I know I am 
beautiful. I know I am loving Trina first. And then I love everybody else after. So, man, it's not too late. Love listens. So you got to make the choice today to be open, to grow, to embrace, and find that richness. Find that place that, you know, it takes you to a place that you can't even imagine. It's not a weakness to open up. It is a strength. Best thing you can do is to begin to love yourself first. I hope you are blessed today. And if you would do know what to do, go right ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed for more motivation from Trina. Before we go, I'm going to ask you a question. Of course, we're going to finish with a question. The question is, who said these words? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Who said it? Do you know? Do you know? Where you going to? Who said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord? That's one of my mantra. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So I'm giving you some time to think about it. Go ahead and put your answer in the comment section below. Do you know who said it? If you did say Joshua, then you are correct. <laughs> Joshua 24, verse 15. Joshua says, Ask for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. This book, this question actually shows the intimate level of love, the deep love that this person have. So what Old Testament book contains the story of Naomi and her daughters in law. What Old Testament book contains the story of Naomi and her daughter in law? Do you know the answer to that? They had an amazing love, especially Ruth. So yes, Ruth is the book we are looking for. So if you did say Ruth, you are correct. That's it for today. Take care until the next one. Bye.